Okay, hi everyone. Today I am gonna drag you through a very, very sad, not uh, particularly interesting story. Uh, we are going to a grocery shop in Norway. And uh, you know, for Norwegians, the, <laughs> the most important thing is a low price before quality. Norwegians are very stingy. We don't want to use too much money on food. Very typical Norwegian uh, grocery store. <coughs> so we start on top. I mean here we can uh, enjoy uh, fruits and vegetables, vitamins and everything. It seems fresh. We have oranges from Spain. We have tomatoes and everything, but from here it only goes down. I am so sorry. That gives us good conscience. Very good conscience, but later on in this, uh, on our route, it's not going to be fresh anymore. <laughs> sorry, guys. <clears throat> Do you prefer good quality or very cheap, low prices? Yeah. We're dying to know. Subscribe and let us know. We love those stories. We have a very limited assortment. You saw the name of the shop, Rema Tusen. The thousand, uh, the number means that it's only thousand items. Let's say you wanted some cereals for breakfast. Well, this is what you can choose between. Uh, it looks much. Well, for us Norwegian, it is a lot. How much is it? Well, and this rack over here. Yeah, and maybe some over there. For us, we don't like to have a lot of choices. I mean, too much choices. <gasps> what? What can we choose? That will make us very upset, uh, kind of. Uh, let's say you are coming to Norway and you can't, you, oh, you're thinking, oh, I can't wait to go in the grocery stores to buy fresh salmon, fresh cod, fresh Norwegian seafood, you know. <laughs> you can just forget about it because we don't care about fresh food. We don't have a fresh uh, counter for food. This is what we have when it comes to uh, fish. And yes, here we have some salmon, but mostly it's fish cakes, processed fish. This is called fish, fiskeboller, crab stick, uh, ready-made meals like this. Well, the most freshest, but also maybe the most expensive, it is called salma, and it's like uh, 24 euro. No, I'm not sure. I would probably do maybe a uh, fish cake. Oh, the luxury fish cake. Oh no, this was too expensive. I think I go for this here. Ah, only 1.7 euros. Woohoo, bargain. And the taste. We don't care about the taste. We only care that it's low prices, you know. Uh, most of the food that you find in a Norwegian grocery store is processed food. And you know what we don't like, Norwegians? We don't like surprises. We don't like anything new. We are creatures of habit. That meaning we buy the same thing over and over and over again. And this is like typical. Here we you. love uh, canned food, like uh, the, some meatballs in it. <laughs> well, this is, might be exotic for you guys. It's called Joika. It's reindeer meatballs. Uh, this is a stayer. Yeah, it's been here for 50 years. Most of the brands that you will find in the grocery shops in Norway, <laughs> they have been here for ages. Mm. It's like all of these brands you see around here. It, it, it's, it's been here for really, uh, for, yeah, 50, this 60. One. Yeah. It, it's very, like uh, 200 years old. Absolutely. And you know what? <laughs> <laughs> and that was yeah. when we tried to feel uh, yeah. he, international. This is almost as exotic as it will get. Canned Italian spaghetti with uh, with what? Uh, with meatballs. And then we feel international. Absolutely. We feel totally crazy when we eat this. You will be, you will be very good Norwegian if you have uh, these three cans. Fish balls, <laughs> reindeer meat balls, and this uh, hybrid between vegetables and meatballs kind of stuff. What did it taste? 
Uh, if you ask me, it doesn't taste anything. <laughs> it almost tastes the same if it's fish, reindeer, or or this uh, vegetable uh, hybrid. But there has to be some categories with more to choose between. Of course, there is. Here we are with the favorite Norwegian uh, area, frozen pizza. This here you will find many types of frozen pizza. Look! Over here, over there, over there. So you can see... It's a big island! It is. So frozen food is huge in Norway. This is our national dish actually. This is the top on our dinner list. This is what we meet, eat most of in oh, Norway. Please. So here you can see some well funny stuff. You have some spinach and ricotta. I mean, I have to say this is the most exotic thing you probably in in this. Yeah, maybe we should try just for today, Mats. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm a bit skeptical. I really don't like new things. I think this one. Uh, is it better? Yeah, this is more. We have tried it before. Ah, go away, surprises. New things. We don't, you know, new things, when you launch it in a grocery store in Norway, it never works because Norwegians, mm, I didn't taste it when I was a child and I will not taste it now. Okay, so then we are finished with, you know, food and, and that stuff. Today it's Saturday and we have to enjoy. And uh, now we are coming to the paradise. It's the beverage. Here you will have a lot. Drink, drink, juices, uh, different stuff, water, and, and coke, and different types. It's he, a big, it's, it's a, a big, third, a third yeah, of it's shop. a third of the shop, so we are very into this. This is a typical uh, uh, beverage brand from Norway, Solo. It's orange-based uh, soda. And this is very, very Norwegian. And I think I will have one of these. What crazy! Yeah. That taste! It's not Norwegian. Uh, oranges and strawberry. But, but the brand is Norwegian, isn't it? I would go for this one. This looks safe. No. This looks like toxic. Okay. Yeah, maybe. It's new. I can have uh, this. The classic one. It's true, yeah. I haven't tasted it. No. It's Maybe. Uh, probably dangerous. Yeah, probably dangerous, true. And I bought some frozen vegetables, then I have good conscience, so now I can go binging on carbs. And here we are with the potato chips, typical Norwegian. You thought the frozen pizza area, and you thought the, food, uh, the soda area, and like this snack area, that, uh, that's the highlight of this uh, grocery shop in Norway. It's not. <laughs> uh, oh, we are here soon. This, you know, it's Saturday, uh, it's almost impossible to buy alcohol in Norway, but here you can buy uh, beer, 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 or cider, or beer, or... Be you see, this, this is the part direct. Aren't you surprised, Mats? It's humongous. Here you really have choices. Here there's no limits. Here there are different brands, different types. You have that foreign over here. Yeah, and here you have Corona and so on. So, okay, we are closing up. I just wanted to, we have some oddities in Norway. Mm. Can you see uh, vanilla? <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, it's a strange story about vanilla, actually. <laughs> and how Norwegians, <laughs> we don't know how vanilla, real vanilla tastes because <laughs> 
<laughs> this is for dessert and it says vanilla it? it's vanilla sauce and this is also a brand that it's been around for uh, 50 60 70 years this brand has taught norwegian how to how vanilla tastes and all norwegian think that vanilla tastes like this but if you if you read the ingredients list you won't find any vanilla in it <laughs> So, so this is a vanilla sauce without vanilla. And when Norwegian tastes real vanilla, you know, all over the world, they go like, Dui, Dui, what is this? This is not vanilla. Because Norwegian thinks that vanilla tastes like this. Okay, so I think this took a little bit more than five minutes, which is the average time. You shouldn't use more time in a grocery store in Norway. But uh, since it's Saturday and I had to tell you guys uh, how it is, uh, a little bit more time. But uh, now you know if you're coming to Norway and are dreaming about fresh and fish and reindeer and uh, seafood. Hi, hi. It, it's, uh, <laughs> this is the seafood you're gonna get, you know, so yeah, so I, I hope you enjoyed it and I'm dying to know how it is in uh, your shops in your country because it, it has to be better than this, doesn't it? Okay, bye-bye, see you! Two pusatak. <laughs> <laughs>